Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today we're talking clock springs. All right, I'm gonna show you what this device is. You may have heard of it. Uh, I'm gonna show you where it goes, and when they go bad, you know, um, I have videos on, on how to replace them, but every car is different. But first, let's show where it goes. All right, so we go over here. Now, basically, pretty much on any car, the steering wheel is going to have controls, whether it be the horn, whether it be ABA, um, uh, cruise control or, or your stereo and everything like that, your volume, your, whatever it is. All right. Now, this wheel turns. So how do you get the main wires that control those functions on the steering wheel? All right. Without, you know, without it breaking, you can't have just regular wiring in here because this steering wheel turns both ways, as you know. All right, and those wires over time are going to break. So they came up with a, a mechanism called the clock spring. Now let me show you what that is. So it's just basically, I already have it apart, but in order, a lot of times, in order to fix something, it's nice to know how it works, unless you're just going to be a parts changer. And that can get costly. All right, so... Here, these are for the airbag, all right? They go through and they they go over here and they connect to the, the, the wiring in the car, the hard wiring in the car that can't bend and flex. Like wires like this, you cannot do that. You can imagine how many controls and wiring there's gonna be for, you know, the newer cars even have more controls on the steering wheel. You can't have a whole bunch of wires like this. They're gonna break, tangle up. So what they do is they use a ribbon, you see? This is a ribbon, and this is like in stereos you would see this, and a lot of computers you would see that, and what they do is they wind it a certain amount to give you enough that when you turn, when you're in the center, that's why when you replace these, you have to make sure they're completely in the center. Usually the new ones come set in the center, all right, is when you turn it, you only got like five turns from complete left to complete right. So in the middle, you got two and a half turns. So you got one, two, and basically a half. Now, when you went back to zero again, you got one, two, and basically another half. Now, assuming that you installed this and you didn't, or you took yours out and it moved around, you may have it like one and a half, right? So now one and a half way this way instead of two and a half. So let's say you had it one and a half this way. Now you go and turn, turn the steering, all right, you turn it all the way, this can turn all the way and rip out. And now you're gonna have no controls, you're gonna have a whole bunch of check engine lights on or lights for, for whatever kind of thing that this was controlling and it's gonna get all ripped out. So, but the point of the video is to show you what it is. You know, you always hear about a clock, so it has nothing, nothing to do with a clock, you know? So that's basically what it is. You see, this part hooks to the steering column Steering wheel goes through here. Airbags go through the steering wheel. I mean, a lot of them could be all different. This happens to uh, come out of a Toyota, but they're all pretty much the same. And a lot of times, these have, on the underside over here, they would have a steering angle sensor, another sensor. So that steering angle sensor, all right, that's exactly what it does. It senses the steering angle, especially in the newer cars, anything from 2000, well, 2008 and up, is probably gonna have a steering angle sensor so the computer knows if the, the wheels are straight. It has everything to do with um, the ABS, brakes, traction control, everything. The computer has to know the, the angle of the steering. So that, another part that snaps onto here, but that's different. This is about the clock spring, but I figured I would tell you that one because most of the times it's either integrated into the clock spring or it's a separate piece that just snaps out like this one. So basically, you see that? That's all you have. And again, when you turn this down, turn this a certain way, it only gives you, I think it even says it on it sometimes. See, it says five. You see this five number? Five turns. That's exactly what that means. That means five turns, like if the steering wheel was all the way to the right, right? Now you go one, two, three, four, five. That's what they mean. But in reality, that has to be set two and a half in the middle. One, two, and a half. 
and then you put it on. And how do you know that? Let's say if you did take an old one off, a new, like I said, a new one's gonna have a pin here, so you can't really mess it up. But let's say you, did, you didn't realize and you're turning yours, what you can do is physically turn it until you feel resistance. You're gonna feel the resistance. You're definitely gonna feel the resistance. It's not gonna break unless you really force it. You'll feel the resistance, so you go, okay, I feel it now. Then you go one and then two. All right, and then put a little mark on it and see if you're correct. So now you go the other way. One, two, and then you're gonna feel it drag. And then you know, you go back your two and a half turns and you're exactly where you gotta be. You put it on, all right, and you plug all your plugs in. It's not that hard to do after you do that. These, a lot of times they just snap into place. And believe it or not, they charge a lot of money to do this. So if you watch my videos on how to replace these, well, at least now you know what it looks like, what you're up against. It has a lot of plugs. This one doesn't have that many, but some of them have a lot of plugs, but they're basically all the same. And on this particular one, you have about, I don't know, about 18 inches of wire. All right. Now, a lot of times, like I said, if your horn don't work or if your ABS light is on, or like I said, it controls a lot of different things and, and, and they happen to be in the steering wheel. It could be this. Sometimes they break the connectors here where they plug in so over there. They can break over here, tear. Usually it's usually the first one here or the last one here. And that can control whatever it is. It can control the airbag, control the horn. So a lot of telltale signs, especially if you have like your horn don't work and you have an ABS light on or your stereo uh, doesn't work at all, but it works when you turn it on on the dash, that can all lead to this clock spring. So now you know basically the little 101 on the clock spring. Uh, usually they're not that expensive. And like I said, you can watch my videos uh, on how to replace them. And you know, it'll save you a lot of money and a lot of headaches. All right, guys, Motor Car Nut, please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions pertaining to this video, leave them below. I answer all my questions, try to help everybody out. Really appreciate all the feedback, guys. Take it easy. See you next time.